The 11th question says a line perpendicular to the line segment joining the points this and this divides it in the ratio 1 is to n. Find the equation of the line. Let's talk about this. Line perpendicular to the line segment joining this and this. Okay. There's a line segment joining two points. 1 comma 0 and 2 comma 3. Okay. Divides it in the ratio 1 is to n. Okay. So 1 is to n would be somewhere here. 1 is to n. Since this point is given before this point, therefore 1 is to n will be in this particular manner. Right. That's the convention that we use. Right. Line divides the join of this and this in the ratio 1 is to n. Therefore, 1 will be towards this point 1 comma 0. And n will be towards this point 2 comma 3. And uh, perpendicular to this line. So, we have this kind of a line, which is perpendicular to this given line. Okay. Find the equation of the line. That's what we are interested in. Okay. The equation of the line can be obtained if we can find this point over here. Let's call this A. Let's call this B. Let's call this P. Okay. We have slope M1 and we can find slope M2 as well. So, that's only one condition. The other condition will be found by using this point. By finding this point, right? And this point can be found by using section formula. So, for line, I need two things. I need the point P. The coordinates of point P are very simple. 1 times 2 plus n times this 1 upon 1 plus n. This is m1x2 plus m2x1 upon m1 plus n2. Next, 1 times 3 plus n times 0 upon 1 plus n. The x and y coordinates of point P. What is that? n plus 2 upon n plus 1 comma this is 3 upon n plus 1 coordinates of point P. Okay. Can you also find the slope m1? m1 is slope of this line which is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. 3 minus 0 mind you. This is 3 minus 0 2 minus 1. This is 3 upon 1 which tells me m1 is equal to 3. If you have found m1 easily, can you find m2 as well? m2 is the slope of perpendicular line. So, therefore, m2 is equal to negative reciprocal of this. This tells me m2 is equal to minus 1 by 3. Now, for our required line, what do we have? For finding the equation of that line, we needed two conditions. Point P and slope m2. We have the point and we have the slope. We can easily write the equation using ideas y minus y. Using point and slope. This is the concept. This is the idea of point slope form, right? So, y minus point y1, this is what you need, is equal to slope minus 1 by 3 times x minus this x1 n plus 2 upon n plus 1 right let's not be confused between n and x let's multiply by 3 this becomes 3y minus 9 upon n plus 1 is equal to minus x this is x and minus becomes plus n plus 2 upon n plus 1 okay Let's bring this x on this side. This is x plus 3y is equal to, let's bring this term over there, 9 plus n plus 2 upon n plus 1. Taking n plus 1 as the LCM, right? x plus 3y is equal to n plus 11 upon n plus 1. This is what I get. Leave the equation in this form and then you are good to go. Or you can bring this n plus 1 over here as well. That's all. In whatever form you require that's the final answer for this question as you can see behind me